Happy New Year, everyone! Hey guys, Kerosif here with another review. This time I'll be reviewing the Deluxe Dragonic Knight Wonder Ride Book from Kamen Rider Saber. This is a special Wonder Ride Book that lets Kamen Rider Saber power up. So, let's get started! First off, we'll look at the Dragonic Knight Wonder Ride Book on its own. This is a large silver Divine Beast type Wonder Ride Book, which is a continuation of the Brave Dragon story in essence. You can see the cover page here. You can see the whole thing is done up primarily in silver plastic, although you can see that the main pages are clear, which you'll see why later. So for a size comparison, here it is next to Brave Dragon. You can see it is larger in all aspects. And you can see that they are quite similar in their style. You can see that they both have the same font for their titles as well as a similar color gradient and the same glowing green aura. Not to mention, they both depict Brave Dragon. So, for the cover, we have the title in English as well as the Wonder Language. And then the cover page depicts a silver-clad knight riding on Brave Dragon. We still have the slot indicator and common writer written in the Wonder Language. Still has book written on the side. And we have the back, where it has the speaker and the read mark here, as well as the QR code. What makes it a bit different is that instead of the activation button being on the bottom, it's instead this sliding lever here, which goes up to activate the title announcement. From there, we can open it up to the story page where we can actually see Saber Dragonic Knight in this sort of sea of flames in what looks like a set of ruins, as you can see by the upper uh, kind of brick wall as well as the columns off to the side. It also has some writing on it. It says, Hono wo matoishi, densetsu no kishiga, and then a bit of an ellipsis down here meaning there is going to be more to this, and I'll give the full translation once we see that. We can also see the inner cover, which does have different writing for the foreword, as well as this red part, which will come into play more when we look at the full transformed version of it. So, obviously, like with the other Wonder Ride books, you're going to press down on the page to get the synopsis, but similar to Jao Dragon, there are three of them. And what's also different about this is that for this, the cover page is actually spring loaded. So open it up, and it pops open on its own. Next, we'll use the Dragonic Knight book with the Seiken Sword Driver and Kain Kenrekka. And because of its weight and mass, I'm going to be attaching the belt straps to act as a counterbalance. And there we have the transformation into Kamen Rider Saber Dragonic Knight. 
And so a few different things happened there. First, you might have heard that the standby sound, and most of the sound, in fact, came from the Wonder Ride book, and not much from the Seiken. Second, and most obvious, is that the book has now expanded out from one page to three. And now it changes the image. So instead of just Dragonic Knight standing solo, we now have him riding on Brave Dragon. Where you can see the head of the dragon and then the body, which actually continues, so that the tail actually goes into the cover page, which is this red part. And you also have the flames continuing into here. So now, we also get the full writing, as you also have bits written in the one language here and here. So the full thing now reads as Hono Matoishi, Densetsu no Kishiga, Dragon ni Noru, Oshiki Sugata ni, which translates to The Legendary Knight Cloaked in Flames becomes a majestic dragon riding form. So, with that, we can now activate a few things. The first is that if you press the cover page and then press it again, we'll get the Dragonic Hisatsugeki. We put back in Kain Kenreka, push the cover page, and then draw out the Seiken. It'll give us the Dragonic Hisatsugiri. And then, if we push on the cover page three times, that'll give us the Dragon Summoning Song. Additionally, we can also make use of Kain Kenreka. So if we activate the normal Hisatsudoka, and pull the trigger, we get the Densetsu no Shinju Hisatsugeki with Densetsu no Shinju, meaning Legendary Divine Beast. Now we try to do that for the Hisatsugiri. That'll just activate the Dragon Hisatsugiri in the Dragon Knight book. Then we can also close out the book by collapsing it in. And then scan it on the reader. Finally, you can also use the Dragonic Nightbook with the Ankoken Kurayami. So it reads the book as Giant Monster. 
And in fact, with how the caliber driver works, you can also activate the transformation using that. So as you can see, the rest of the sounds come from the book and none from the sword. And there we go! Overall, this is quite an impressive Wonder Ride book. It does its own unique thing with its large size rather than copying the Jao Dragon book. In this case, it uses differently tampographed clear panels to at once both hide and then expand out from the story page to the henshin page with some very cool sounds along the way and you get that very nice spring load action where the whole thing expands outwards once you drive a sword not to mention it has some very nice and cool sounds that can be activated from this and it is interesting that in this case most of the sounds come from the Wonder Ride book itself not much from the sword driver but that's perfectly fine as this does help to make it so that this is its own thing and not something you can just activate or get out of the sword driver without this. Definitely has its own cool appeal. I would certainly recommend this if you have a sword driver. And I look forward to seeing what other power-up books Saber gets in the future. Next time I'll be looking at Conrad Blaze's counterpart book with the King Lion Daisenki Wonder Ride book. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments, and if you're new and would like to see more, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. And for now, this is KRX50, riding off.